Hi guys, it's Valerie here with today's video and all the latest news from Hollywood. Justin Lin will not direct Fast and Furious 7. I'll tell you more after this. When I was a child, I seen myself becoming a mother with a beautiful family in the house, you know, with the beautiful flowers in the garden, with the dog. I didn't expect at all a life like this. I never imagined to, to be one day a creative director of a company. For Gucci, of course, first of all. to me and the sensuality is always an important starting point for the collection. You have to think that you are a Gucci boy. You need to be very confident, very powerful, very sensual. Okay, one more time. You are the most beautiful man in the world. Come scegliere tra le giornine i modelli che devono sfilare, che devono indossare i suoi abiti? Ma io cioè, secondo me quando si tratta di sognare e di fare questo lavoro mi piace lavorare con ragazzi giovani. And when you have to in a way convince the people what you are doing and selling what you are thinking about uh, is always challenging. This is what the young men are wearing in in LA now. When they see you they are wearing it. At the beginning, of course, I felt this pressure because I prefer to work behind the scenes. I prefer to work with my team, in my office, with the fabrics, with the colors. No, yeah. I think that the strongest moment when you start to put everything together is like a week before the show. Until the end, you never know what is going to happen. After four films at the helm, Justin Lin is finally stepping down from the Fast and Furious franchise and will no longer be directing Fast 7. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the filmmaker has informed Universal that he wouldn't be returning for the latest installment of the popular action series. Lin has been the studio's go-to director for the films ever since 2006's The Fast and the Furious Talkie Drift. Lin's departure reportedly has nothing to do with the creative differences, but rather time issues. This is because Universal is fast-tracking the Fast and the Furious 7 for release next year, which would overlap with the post-production on Fast and Furious 6, and he has stated that the rush would not result in his best work. That's all for today. Like us on Facebook. See you next time.